Hey, what's going on guys? How are we doing? Happy Bitcoin Tuesday. Hashtag Bitcoin Tuesday. If you rocking with hashtag Bitcoin Tuesday, drop it in the comments down below. You guys already know I am your host, Crypto Don Pepe. Welcome to my channel. Yes, we do have another video for you guys. And of course, if this happens to be your first time here on my channel, great to have you. Looking forward to staying connected with you as well. And hopefully you can find the content here within my channel satisfactory, okay? I'm just straight up, forward, no fancy dancy, just here to deliver the goods as I should. And I love the cryptocurrency industry because we are no longer in a space. This is not the crypto space, okay? This is an industry that continues to get bigger and bigger and bigger all right and you guys already know we only have about three weeks left of this decade ending this decade and going into a new decade which is what we are going to be celebrating walking into 2020 all right and uh before i do get into this uh price action of bitcoin and other various altcoins Make sure, guys, that you do smash that subscribe button, okay? Because your subscription is important. And a massive shout out to the newest subscribers. Thank you, guys. I am truly, truly grateful. As well as make sure that you bang that bing, bing notifications bell. Because, of course, you don't want to miss a crypto fied beat, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to stay crypto fied with Crypto Don Fepe. And if you've been enjoying my channel and, of course, the various videos, and this video within it give it a thumbs up man i will truly truly be grateful as i always am because without you guys i cannot grow this channel okay and the likes will bring in more channel i mean more channel more subscribers as well so um some of you already know that i will be doing a bitcoin or an ethereum or litecoin giveaway it's up to you guys let me know in the comment section below what it is that you guys are interested in having and i'm sure i do know the answer okay so let's get into some bitcoin price action and all and all coins and then let's get into some updates on inside the news within ripple like i said yesterday uh one billion dollars in escrow uh let's just find out what's going on with ripple man you know well xrp that is you know, someone had told me, don't use Ripple and XRP in the same sentence. What? What? Huh? That's another video. Anyway, guys, we can see that Bitcoin is currently sitting at $7,379.60, up 1.19%. Well, it just went up and trading at $7,380.01. And currently, Ethereum is trading at $150.42 up 1.8 percent and the banker's mint the banker's coin xrp currently trading at 22 cents up 1.66 percent and you know with with some confusion going on in the crypto streets with xrp you know i'm surprised that it's still at 22 21 because it did hit 21 cent but i still believe that it's going to go below 15 cents that's just me okay now um we can see sister coin, Litecoin, right? The sister coin to BTC is currently trading at $47.37, up 3.24%. And of course, we can see Binance coin is trading at $15.59, up 1.49%. So pretty much, guys, there's a lot of green, you know, versus the red sea that we saw yesterday, right? So today, I would dare say it's a bit better looking sexier and you know we're going into a new decade i mean we're about to see a whole different transition we're going to experience a whole lot of different things within the crypto industry okay and keep in mind this is no longer a space guys all right so we need to change that around a bit but let's get into some news man because i i don't understand what's going on with ripple help me out here help me understand guys let me know in the comments down below. What do you think is going on? Well, let's find out. By way of the Daily Hotel, one of my favorite outlets, says here that did Ripple sell zilch? I mean, zilch. Worth of XRP in November? Could it be? 
that that's why they put the billion well let, let's let's let me not just judge because i'm not one to judge right i'm sure you are not one to judge as well and like my mom always say don't just assume son don't assume i'm not a fan of, of xrp i'm just saying so uh and don't hate me for it if you happen to be a subscriber that is a fan. You know, we can agree to disagree. We can have dialogue. We can conversate about it, right? Um, so did Ripple sell zilch worth of XRP in November? Well, massive crypto transfers trigger confusion. Yes, if you follow uh, well Alert, you will see that there's a bit of a confusion going on here in these crypto streets in regards to XRP. So the crypto traders are wondering if a series of giant crypto transfers from ripple indicate the company sold zilch zilch ninka nilch <laughs> zero xrp in the month of november uh one billion of xrp well one billion of ripples xrp for the person that said don't use ripple and xrp in the same sentence you see it right in front of you one billion of ripples xrp was unlocked in november or well, on november 1st making the funds available uh for the san francisco startup to sell to institutional players and crypto exchanges hmm well typically at the end of the month after unlocking and selling xrp ripple places any unsold funds back into escrow this time around however the company placed a full one billion dollars or one billion xrp excuse me right back into escrow so they put one billion xrp i think didn't they do this in october i'm, I'm just getting october in my mind let me know down below in the comments guys because that's what i'm getting says all three transfers were tracked in real time by whale alert on twitter as we can see if you go follow whale alert on twitter you will get and 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 get the 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 tweets where he pretty much well where, where they pretty much are tracking these transactions so we have 500 okay 500 million right here xrp the next one is 400 400 million okay and then we have a hundred million so that totals to one billion xrp all right so the transfers triggered a debate on reddit as to whether the company aborted all sales of its xrp holdings last month so ripple which owns more than half of the total supply of xrp has enough holdings in reserve that can sell that can sell some of the 1 billion XRP released from escrow at the start of the month and still return a billion XRP to escrow at the end of the month. You guys get that? So Ripple, which owns more than half of the total supply of XRP, has enough holdings in reserve that it can sell some of the 1 billion XRP released from escrow at the start of the month and still return a 1 billion XRP to escrow at the end of the month. There's some ball of confusion going on. You know the song, Ball of Confusion? So, in its third quarter, XRP Markets Report says that Ripple said it plans to continue selling XRP at a slower pace than it has in the past. So, I don't know what you guys think. I'm a bit confused myself, honestly. In Q3, Ripple sold 66.24 million worth of XRP, down from 251.51 million. So, 251 million in the second quarter. In the third quarter, they sold 66 million worth of XRP. As we can see in this graph right here, institutional direct sales, quarter two 2019 and quarter three so we go from 106 to 50 program uh po program it programmatic sales excuse me 144 down that's in q2 and of course 16 in q3 so total sales 
That's 251 in Q2 and 66 in Q3. And the company says it plans to exercise, in quote, continued discipline, close quote, in the fourth quarter of this year. Look, this year is already wrapped up. So I don't know what you guys think. Let me know. This, of course, by way of the daily huddle. I'm a bit confused myself, but I would love to hear from you guys and get some feedback, man. Because, again, I'm not an investor in Ripple, XRP. I got my bag back in 2017, generated what I generated, sold at $3.22 or 23 cents, I would dare say, around there. And it might have been $3.19, but we're talking many moons ago. But I got my bag, but that was the last time. I said, that's the last time I'll be investing in the uh, centralized mint. All right. Now, let's get into what's happening in the Virgin Islands. Now, in the Virgin Islands, pretty much they are going to be coming out with their own digital currency, guys. I think, and I don't think they charge income tax. Oh, no, that's the Bahamas. That's the Bahamas. Yes, that's the Bahamas. So the one down here is uh, the British Virgin Islands digital currency to replace the USD. And, of course, the second bullet point here says Life Labs uh, develops emergency fund and blockchain platform. What do you guys think about this? It says that the government of the British Virgin Islands, BVI, is about to announce the details of its own digital currency and the project is developed in partnership with blockchain-orientated um, startup LifeLabs.io. And of course, the British Virgin Islands digital currency is to replace the USD. The USD is done, guys. I'm telling you, nobody's buying greenbacks anymore. You guys already know what's going on. More governments are turning to proprietary digital currencies over the last year than ever before. China and the Marshall Islands are some of, that's a pattern interrupt, are some good examples. And now it's time for BVI to join the trend. There's a big trend going on. The British territory, which is popular, offshore destination is hosting the BVI Digital Economy Symposium to the Economy Symposium today. Excuse me. The event gathers over 100 stakeholders that will help the Archipelago Balago Archipelago move to become a digital hub. Hmm. So at the Symposium BVI and LifeLabs.io will present relevant details of the government-backed digital currency called BVI-Life. For about 60 years, the British Virgin Islands has used the U.S. dollars. Uh, the U.S. dollar has its national currency. Now the government is working on a stable coin powered by Life Token. The currency will be pegged to the USD with a ratio of 1 to 1, okay? When it goes live, the digital currency system will cut transaction fees, increase transaction speed, and ensure liquidity for both residents and tourists. On to the British Virgin Islands we go. So in quote here, it says that the partnership puts us in a unique position to make a massive impact in a place that really stands to benefit. And it's true. The foundation of a digital currency is necessary groundwork for the British Virgin Islands to continue to serve the global economy as it has in the past with the onset of the blockchain revolution. And you guys got to think about it. The British Virgin Islands is just a set of islands. It's not like the size of the United States, right? So Life Labs develops emergency fund and blockchain platform. Uh, besides the national currency, BVI will have an emergency fund, uh, and a platform has a service called PASS, PAAS, in parentheses, that relies on blockchain. And Life Lab is working on a rapid cash response, RCR, fund that will provide aid in the case of a national emergency. For example, two years ago, Hurricane Irma hit BVI, British Virgin Islands, causing $3 billion in damages. Well, guys, I mean, this is pretty much the end of it, but you guys see what's going on. The trend is growing. It's moving fast. I want to know what you guys think. Hit me up. Don't forget to subscribe. 
bang the get notifications bell and smash the thumbs up guys